fight as well. But I'm going to focus awesome. on Anthony Joshua and okay. Dylan White. Okay. okay. What, are we filming now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a very, very good fight. You've got two unbeaten prospects. Um, one's risen up to a higher echelon because of what they did in the Olympics. Um, and also, like, Anthony Joshua's looking like Universal Soldier. But we're looking on Dylan White, we can't discourage anything that the guy's doing because he's, he's, he's very precise um, sitting down on his punches now. And now he's under the tutelage of um, um, Jonathan Banks. You can see the things that he's learning and he's trying to advocate the things that he's learning and put into practice in his fights. It's going to be a good fight. It's not, it's not going to be a foregone conclusion. But whatever happens, this could be a one-round blowout. If it was a one-round blowout, whoever gets blown out will fight to the end. And if it goes 12 rounds, whoever fights is going to go to the end as well. The reason why I'm not going to give a prediction is because I know both guys really, really well. And I ain't going to show no disrespect to any of them. But this fight does remind me of very, very similar to, um, what was it, uh, Royal Abbott Hall. Um, when you had Lennox Lewis versus Gary Mason. And the only reason why it springs to mind is because Lennox Lewis was Olympic champion at, at the time uh, when, he won the, when he won the gold medal by knocking out Riddick Bowl in 1988, Seoul Olympics. Um, and you had somebody like Gary Mason who was actually from, was Jamaican and came over to England. And it's very similar with, uh, if you look at Dylan White, Dylan White, Jamaican, born, and and come over here and now he's a, he's, a, he's a Londoner and so there are similarities with that he's slightly more experienced because he won uh, world titles in K1 or, or in other mixed martial arts act, act activities but not only that but Dylan White can fight he's a very very tough man but what I do see is like this whoever wins or loses in this fight you can come back from this um, it's going to be a great fight a lot of people are going to be hedge betting on jo any Joshua like all right and I'm me personally because, and it's not my because of my affiliation at Sky because I work at Sky. It's got nothing to do with that. I wouldn't want this to be a debacle. I know Dylan White. I know it's not going to be a debacle. He's coming to fight. He's not just coming to fight. His mindset is that he's coming to win. And Joshua's mindset is that I'm coming to win. But one thing that I can leave you on is this: when you walk with purpose, that you will collide with destiny. These two are destined to meet as professional fighters, and I'm glad that it's happening. And the major thing is that to allude back to 1989. Richard Pryor, the greatest ever to do it as a comedian. When Richard Pryor was stayed, Richard Pryor said, when Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns were in their rematch of War II, and he stated that, I don't want the two guys to, to hurt each other. You know what I mean? Because they're both my brothers. And I take, I allude to the same thing. Both of these guys are my brothers. I wouldn't want to see them hurt each other. But what I am saying is this, I'm so gratefully thankful that both of them are getting fantastically paid. This is the hurt game though, um, Spencer. I'm surprised that you're not pick, you know, making a prediction no, based no, on the no, fact that no. you know them. Hold on one second. I, just let me ask a question because someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. I don't think it's disrespectful if you have an opinion no, on no, who no, is going to no, win or I'll lose. Tell you why, I understand like, that you're in no, both no, camps. No, no, it's no, hard no, for no, you. I'm not, in, I'm not in both camps. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not in both camps. I know the two guys personally, yeah. the two guys I speak to regularly on the phone. Yeah, I, I know, wait, 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 listen wait. to me, listen to me. The two guys I speak to regularly on the phone, the two guys I speak to, I give inspiration to. The two guys. Right? So therefore, I'm not going to be a man who's going to say like I'm taking sides or alluding to sides on something where it, it, it's, it's personal to me. Like they are my, per both of them are my personal friends. Majorly, I just want them, I wish them both success. So when I'm turning around saying that, I'm saying I alluded back to a legend in, a legend now, in Richard Pryor, who's the greatest ever to do it. Right? Opinions. Who's the great? No, no, he's not opinions. Richard Pryor's the greatest whoever. He's done some stuff. Have you read his book? Who? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. He's done some stuff. Yeah, of course he did some stuff. But so Richard Pryor's not the greatest ever did? No, no, no. It's all opinions. I'm not, I'm not, right, I don't okay. want to digress. But oh, go on, right, I'll take right, your point. Right, go on. Okay, right. He's the greatest ever do it. So therefore, I'm not falling into the traps of this division thing. Yeah, yeah. So you're not getting me on the traps. That's what boxing does, though. No, 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 no. No, no. no. no what I'm trying to say to you is my intellect's may surpass that. So you can't bring that to me. No, no, I'm not. No, it's not, it's not about intellect. It's about two men getting in the ring. One's got to win, one's got to lose. That's all it is. One's got to win, one's got to lose. But I'm a Affiliated to both men, so if I'm affiliated to both men, therefore, remember I've known I've known Dylan White from baby days. Before, remember I was me I was meant to be his manager the first time. When the person who brought him to me originally when we was kids, so therefore I can't. I'm not taking a side to say who's going to be who's going to lose. I understand. Let's, right, let's, move, let's move into the next right. one. Johnny Olsen, which Johnny Olsen trying to edge up on? Because he's, he's coming in to give Stop his opinion. I'll come after. He's, he's going to come. come, he's come he's gonna, after he's gonna, you. He's gonna, you can jump in. I know. I know. Okay, what, you can get what, in as well. Just tell me what you just said. No, I'm saying that I'm not choosing who's going to win. Who's going. I know. I'll tell you why. I'm not choosing. I'll tell you why he's not choosing because 
he makes, he's in Brixton, so he's thinking, if I say, if I say Josh, I'm going to get my ass bossed. <laughs> I know he's done. That's what he said. He's such a No, oh, I understand. I understand. No, no, I, I get oh, it. I get it. Oh, 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 you what you need to do, you need to stand up. Yeah. No, listen, no. if you say one man, it don't mean you dislike another. It just means you no, say Johnny, one man. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Number one is this. Remember That's this. No, stop for a second. I'm going to say, stop for a second. No, no, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. This is how this is. No one No one has a problem with you. baffle me with science. Yes, right. That's right. big words I'm not going to drop no big words. I'm going to tell you this now. As the, now. Wait, wait, listen to me. As the earth spins See, on yeah. its axis, no, wait there. One second is that. Right. As a the earth, as a earth, the earth, the, the earth that we live on right now spins on its axis at 1037 yeah. and, and, and three, you guys are joker, yeah. and, and, and three third seconds. <laughs> so as it spins, yeah. as it spins on its axis, right? We it lost it him, creates, right? no, it creates a gravitational pull. Right? That's how gravity is, because you go with six miles ab above you. the Earth. I know you're joking. I'm just missing up, Joe. This, I'm, this I'm being is real. how he's getting out of action, no, predicting no, something. He's getting no, a new I'm contract, though. I'm, so I'm, right, I'm not, exactly. <laughs> right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go and predict because the fight, because, because I know both fighters. I know both fighters. No, but they don't like you. I, right? guess, I, mean, I don't care. They don't like I you, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, that's what I'm just ramping. Johnny, Johnny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're trying to edge up to me, Johnny. Who's going to win, Johnny, in your You know what? I like both fighters, just like he said, mm. right? And I can see how both fighters can win. I'm mm. telling you, do not underestimate Dylan because Dylan can punch. No, I'm not underestimating. Now, he's a yardy throwing tree, mm. can punch. And if he tries to, if he gets it into a scrap and he makes it toe to toe, mm. Dylan wins. Mm. If Dylan makes his man box him on the, right. on the long, Anthony Joshua takes him out. Right, right. So that's what I'm saying. This doesn't go the distance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's about tactics. Who can impose their tactics the most? Let me let me move on. To I'm the not other. writing him off, and that's yeah. what I think. That's what Bond's doing more than anything else. Because people are writing. No, him I think so oh, too. No, no, I no, think so too. They're saying I'm not making the. Dylan, I'm not. When you did the gloves are off, yeah. 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 You felt like there's loads of things that got cut out yeah. of gloves are off. Oh, no, I was on. Nothing. It got heated proper. It got heated proper. Okay. But that's the first time it's been heated. It's not. It's been a bit amicable up until this point. No, 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 no. That's lies. It was very. It's very, it's very heated, and I could say that Joshua was a little bit ruffled by Dylan because of the street thing, right? Because you've got to remember, you could be a bad man in Watford. Mm. I could take off a Watford with my handkerchief. Mm. That ain't no big thing. Don't this, right. no, no, oh, shout out to the Watford man then. No, no, no. But if you're a bad man in Brixton, Watford, now you're right. what about Watford? No, I'll kick they down was, Watford. What? They will slap the black off you, man. Have no, you been to Brixton recently? I'm, I'm light skinned, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, Pretzel and Nando's. Right. But anyway, so I'm saying, if you look, if you look on that, yeah. then I'm saying slightly ruffled mm. because. Dylan can use street because Dylan's real. Yeah, you know he's real. He's real. We all know that. We all know that. Yeah. He's real. But in the ring, it don't matter, does it? Does it matter? Ten minutes he's talked. He still hasn't said. No. He's not going to say. He's already. He's already. He's already sold his colours to the mask. I want to move on to the other fight. Eubank and Gary. Eubank and, and Spike or Sullivan. I'm not going to call him Spike. Why? I'm, I'm, Why? I'm, I'm in Eubank's camp. I'm not no, calling no, no, Gary. No, don't, 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 don't take liberties. Don't take liberties. The guy name, his name's Gary. The, the, his name's what, wait, so what do you call what do you call Chris Eubank now? What's he changed his name to? Chris Eubank Senior. What do you call him now? You don't call him English? I don't. I don't. Who, me? Yeah, go and call him English. Uh, go, no, go, go, go to him and me mixed up with Bro, the rest man, of the media. Wait, in the same way I, I, I do with you probably. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to deal with you right now. I'm back, back off my tweed right now. You've got to deal with this point. Yeah, yeah. Don't Bro, make him my deal. Who's going to win the fight? You see it, eh? You see? Who's going to win the fight? We just cut through your rubbish what you just said. Let me explain this. I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to explain this to you. Here we go again. This fight here, there's no here we go again. On this fight here, Chris Eubank Jr. will win the fight. You know what I mean? Sullivan will try his best, but. You have a different animal. The youth's an animal. Come on, let's be real. Christian Jr. is an animal. And he'll be able to take those shots because I've seen him in the gym spar with loads of guys. I've seen him get hit with hard shots and take the shots. That's why I think he's going to win this fight. And um, I would pitch. Do you know yeah. both fighters? I know both fighters you really well. Both fighters? Love them both well. So why comes it's easy if you do that with these two and not the other well, two? I'm going to explain to you. Right. So well no, no, I'm going to explain. No, no, well, I'm going to straight into that with right. his mouth. Right, and I'm going to explain. No, don't worry. I'm going to explain to you why. I'm going to explain to you why. I'm going to explain to you why. I don't. Right, I'm going to explain to you why. I understand. Right, I'll explain to you. Right, two the. Two previous, Andy Josh and Dylan White, I could refer to them as brothers. They might look at me as raw. Spencer are older head. With Chris Eubank Jr. and, and Spike O'Sullivan, yeah. I'm respected by both of these guys. Yeah. I don't look at these guys as my brothers. Uh, right? But uh, these guys here are my brothers where I've been places with them. I've, listen, I've sat down at like Wait, no, 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 no. You don't listen to me. I know Dylan White's mother. You know what I mean? I know Dylan White's mother. I've, I've, I've been out with Dylan White, him and his mum. I've been out with Andy Joshua and his mum. So it's not for me to get yeah, involved. It's too, I understand, it's too deep. I understand, it's too deep I understand. Johnny, who wins the fight? Eubank you and uh, Gary. Yeah, you anyway. can kiss your teeth, man. Anyway, I uh, again, I rate both fighters. I, I, think, I can tell I, you who's going to win. Wait there, wait. We're going to look at a crystal ball. 
Hey, really. I've just put no, makeup on, thick no, enough, no, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I rate both fighters, yeah. uh, and I think actually uh, O'Sullivan is the most unorthodox of the two, and that's why if if, if Eubank Jr. takes it for granted that he can just take this boy out, he's going to walk straight into a shot. Now, if he sticks to his guns because he's got corners, he's got balls, this guy can fight. He loves to fight. Chris Eubanks will wear him down, but it's going to be a hard fought win on points for Chris Jr. Gentlemen, thank you very yes. much. What? Yeah, we're we're baffling him with what? They're my, they look up to me, foolishness, and they're no. my brothers that went out. Uh, but listen, I'll be honest. I got a new contract, you know, you know, I just got, you know, you know, I got, like, I got, you know, I got a new contract. Red Nando's and Yamap, so I can't say nothing. Yeah, no, but it's yeah, the truth. We've got Nando's as well. F thanks, guys. <laughs>